Good morning students. Now we move on to the next topic. They are silicates. Silicates are chemically it is SiO4. That means a silicon atom surrounded by 4 oxygen atom. What is the importance of this silicate is that when we look at the earth crust 95% of the earth crust is made of materials containing silicate. That is, if we look at the rocks, bricks, granite, gla not, okay, glass, then clay, everything contains silicate. Okay, so 95% of the earth crust contain made of silicate minerals or it is aluminosilicate clay or it is silica. Okay, they are present in, this is not, it is rocks, they are present in rocks, sands, clay, soil, graphite, brick, then ceramic, cement, glass, everything is made of silicate. That means everything contains SiO4 ions. Okay, so the basic unit is SiO4 minus, SiO4 4 minus ion. Now we can just see what is the structure of this SiO4 4 minus. As you all know, the, here the central metal atom is silicon. Okay, so you have to consider the uh, uh, electronic outer electronic configuration of silicon. The silicon belongs to the group of carbon. So the outer electronic configuration is 3s2 and 3p2. Okay, so 3s2, 3p2. Each silicon has to form bond with four oxygen atom. That is, four bonds are four orbitals are required. So the silicon will undergo an excited state. Will will undergo an excited state electronic arrangement. That is, the excited state electronic arrangement of silicon is 3s1, then 3p3, and the silicon will undergo an sp3 hybridization to give four hybridized orbitals. To this, each hybrid orbitals oxygen will be forming a bond with a form a bond by sharing of electrons if the oro orbital slotum oxygen will form and each oxygen will form and donate an electron okay not donating a sharing of electrons that is a bond forms between a silicon atom and oxygen atom using the sp3 hybridized orbital of silicon and the p orbitals of the oxygen atom okay so each silicon is attached to four oxygen atom as you all know sp3 hybridization means what is the structure of sp3 hybridized uh, sp3 hybridized orbitals the structure will be tetrahedral so sio4 exists as a tetrahedral structure then another thing is that you uh, now you see the electron configuration of silicon it got a completely octet arrangement you got a completely octet arrangement for silicon atom but you consider about the oxygen what will be the number of electrons in the oxygen atom oxygen as you all know it is 1s2 then 2s2 and there is 2p4 like electrons are out electronic configuration is how much 1 2 total 6 4 plus 2 6 so 1 2 then 3 4 then 5 6 and one electron they will get from the silicon atom this sharing okay so one electron get from the silicon atom so there is a deficiency of one more electron as I already mentioned this SiO4 minus is SiO4 tetrahedral groups are present in brick, silica, uh, clay, etc. Okay, all these materials are associated with certain metal ions also. So, this oxygen will uh, accept electron from the metal atom, some metal atom, some nearby metal atom, they will accept one electron and complete it octet. Okay, that is why each oxygen attains a charge of minus 1. Okay, now uh, I hope you understand it. First we, first, we have to find out the structure of SiO4. The central metal atom is silicon. You have seen the electronic configuration of silicon and the silicon will undergo an sp3 hybridization and each sp3 hybrid orbitals of the silicon overlap with the p orbital of oxygen to form a SiO bond. 4 SiO4 bond will be formed and the structure is tetrahedral in structure. As in order to complete the octet of oxygen atom, oxygen will accept electron from nearby metal atom and thus forming a SiO4 4 minus tetrahedra. That is how this SiO4 4 minus have formed. Okay. 
then of uh, course uh, simplicity because we have to draw the different type of silicate structures we are representing normally we are representing the silicate like this okay this is the original structure tetrahedral structure but for the simplicity we are expressing the structure like this here the each uh, open circles uh, not open circles the clear circles will be the circles represents oxygen atom so one oxygen atom second oxygen atom third oxygen atom fourth oxygen atom is here the open the circles represent the oxygen atom and the dot here you can see this inside the circle you can see here a dot the dot represents a silicon atom so this is the way we are normally representing this SiO4 4 minus tetrahedra and also you can see the four negative charge around the oxygen atom here you can see a negative charge then here there is one negative charge one negative charge here then and the negative charge here so normally this way we are representing the tetrahedra so this is a structure of SiO4 4 minus tetrahedra. Okay. Now we just see the examples of the silicate containing materials. You can see clays are there, soils are there, brick are there. As I have already told, all this material contain SiO4 4 minus. But the property of soil is not like that of a brick or granite or glass. Okay, so the properties will be different. Anyway, chemically all contain SiO4, but the properties are different. How this difference in property arises? This difference in property arises due to the difference in the arrangement of this SiO4 4, 4 minus tetrahedra. Okay. As you can see, the different silicate materials differ in their properties. The difference in property arises due to the difference in the arrangement of this SiO4 4, 4 minus tetrahedra. So, next we are seeing the classification of silicates. Okay. So, silicates can be classified into different types based on the way in which the SiO4 4, 4 minus tetrahedras are linked together or they are the ways in which the different ways in which they are arranged okay based upon the arrangement of silicate tetrahedra the silicates are classified into different types first classification is called the orthosilicates orthosilicates means orthosilicates or it is called mesosilicates okay orthosilicates contain discrete sio4 4, 4 minus tetrahedra discrete means we, means what a separate separate SiO4 4 minus unit will be uh, will, have, uh, will be placed in a placed as separate units okay they will be present as separate units no connection between different SiO4 4, 4 minus groups okay so the oxygen then uh, if SiO4 4, 4 minus has a charge of 4 minus so what happened is that I have already told in this uh, in this material always there are some metals will be present so this oxygen atom O minus is there SiO4 4, 4 minus is there this minus charge they will donate to different metal atom thereby maintaining a electrical neutrality in the complex okay so first classification first we have told about the classification of silicates silicates are classified into different types based on the way in which this tetrahedral units are linked together okay so first classification is orthosilicates or mesosilicates orthosilicates or mesosilicates can a discrete SiO4 4, 4 minus tetrahedra then the oxygen atom of each tetrahedra coordinate to the metal ions imparting electrical neutrality we will see the structure of certain uh, uh, minerals later then you will understand better okay so these are the some of the general formula of the orthosilicates on for one example for orthosilicate is m2 with the uh, roman 2 also is there sio4 what is this indicate is that this is an example <coughs> sorry this is an example for a orthosilicate uh, it next slide we will see so here you can see the same the last the general formula i have given i have shown here this is one of the example for a orthosilicate first example is wilmenite wilmenite means it is a mineral of zinc okay wilmenite wilmenite is a mineral of zinc it can it has a formula zn twice and si o4 
okay next another example for orthosilicate is phenacite this phenacite is also it is a beryllium containing mineral it is a mineral of beryllium it has a formula b2sio4 okay that is i have shown now you can come to the general formula here you can see this m2 this here you can see and m2 this two indicates a number of metal atoms and this raw metal two indicates a oxidation state of that particular metal that is this complex example is what one is it and two SiO4 okay this type of minerals have the structure of orthosilicates and also another example that is isodar zirconium SiO4 this also has a uh, which structure orthosilicate structure that is they contain zirconium ion surrounded by discrete SiO4 4 minus tetrahedra okay next uh, similarly here zinc also the uh, beryllium magnesium iron manganese also contain this uh, all they these the minerals of this metal also has a orthosilicate structure okay so here m2 indicates a number of metal atoms and this roman 2 indicates the oxidation state of the metal atom here this m4 indicates that metal with oxidation state 4 that is zirconium with oxidation state 4 this zirconium containing mineral also has a orthosilicate or mesosilicate structure now you can see the structure in detail here you can see this is a structure of zn2 that is wilmenite zn2 sio4 here you can see this is the discrete sio4 tetrahedra these are the discrete sio4 tetrahedra and this ball you can see this round shape is a zirconium metal here you can see this SiO4 is uh, present here as a separate unit no connection between different SiO4 unit okay are you seeing this here yeah, there is no connection between different SiO4 units and uh, this is one SiO4 tetrahedra here you can here you can see the red dot indicates the oxygen atom and the blue at the center indicate the silicon then this ball right? this pi uh, colored ball uh, circle represents a metal atom zn2 okay next here uh, for the wilmenite the coordination number is 4 what does that mean here you have a circle sorry it is not zirconium it is zinc okay here a zinc atom is there this zinc will be attached to four different oxygen atoms okay i will uh, show that again here, here you can see one more one example here this structure you just look at this structure these are all the different tetrahedra okay then here you can see a blue dot blue circle this is a m2 okay this is a metal this metal coordination number 4 indicates that this metal will be coordinating to alangi this metal will be bonding to four different oxygen atoms okay here you can see there is an oxygen one have written here you see here oxygen one means this metal will be connecting to this oxygen then oxygen two then oxygen three and one more oxygen will be coming that is coming from the top that is four oxygen it is connected to four oxygen atom that is called the metal has a coordination number four indicates what does this means this metal will form for, uh, coordinate bond with four nearby oxygen atom whether it is in the same tetrahedra or maybe different tetrahedra anyway this metal will be coordinating with four oxygen atom okay where from where that oxygen atom will be coming oxygen atom will be coming from that tetrahedra only okay So that indicates this coordination number four. Then another point is that this in this uh, minerals, okay, this wilmenite and phenacite are minerals, okay. Minerals of wilmenite is a mineral of zinc and phenacite is a mineral of beryllium, okay. They all contain or these mineral have a orthosilicate structure. Next, what is meant by coordination number four? You understand now. Next, you have to consider what is meant by metal occupy the tetrahedral holes. 
you may be remembering where you study the structure of solids you have studied about the different close packing of close packing arrangement of solids you remember at that time you have studied here this is on uh, on uh, crystal lattice one crystal lattice this is another crystal lattice and if there is a third crystal here and if a fourth crystal you place above it you can see a small gap in between here you can see a small gap okay a small gap you are seeing in between that is called the tetrahedral holes that is the vacant space created by the close packing of four different groups okay what is meant by tetrahedral hole the vacant space created after the close packing of four different uh, units are called a tetrahedral site here also similar way if you we have to consider here just if, while considering this image you will understand more this image you will understand it more here you see the metal m2 you are seeing okay m2 is there you can see surrounding the m2 you can see with the marked oxygen tetrahedron only you consider here otherwise uh, well, you just can uh, for simplicity you can consider like this this is one tetrahedra this is another tetrahedra this is the third tetrahedra and this is a fourth tetrahedra okay this four tetrahedra are closely arranged and in between there is a small space where who will occupy the metal will occupy okay that is called the metal occupy the tetrahedral set i think you remember the circles you you already studied about the solid close packing anyway tetrahedral site means the sap uh, the vacant site which is created by the close packing of four different uh, circles and like four different structural units in a tetrahedral holes so in this wilmenite and phenocyte the metal will be occupying in the tetrahedral holes uh, this uh, this also the showing this image also the showing the same thing here each dot will be representing and each circle will be representing the sio4 tetrahedra if we have four tetrahedra arranged together the whole the space formed in between the uh, four tetrahedra is called the tetrahedral site then what is an octahedral site means if uh, the holes created after the close packing of six different structural units you will call it as a octahedral site okay so i think up to now up to this you may be clear now we have a wilmanite and phenocyte wilmanite and phenocyte they have discrete sio4 tetrahedral units and for this wilmanite and phenocyte this metal will be present at the tetrahedral site okay that is the vacant and the hole created from the claw after the close packing of four different tetrahedras then another point you have studied is that the metal coordination number is four it indicates that metal has coordinated to four different oxygen atoms okay another example for another mineral which actually shows this orthosilicate structure is frosterite it is a magnesium containing mineral it has a formula mg2sio4 here also the metal coordination number is four that is a metal has connected to four oxygen atom here also the metal occupy the tetrahedral holes actually this image is the structure of this mg2sio4 okay mg2sio4 here this pink structure indicates the a SIO4 tetrahedra and the blue indicates a metal atom okay and also oxidable coordination number four also is clear here that is each metal is connected to first oxygen second oxygen third oxygen and the fourth oxygen may be from the top and the mineral showing this uh, orthosilicate structure is olivinine olivinine is mg2 sio4 9 mg2 sio4 fe2 sio4 here its structure is similar to that of frost right only difference is that some of the magnesium ions here all the metal are magnesium ion this here for the frost right all the metals are magnesium ion in the frost right mineral in some of the magnesium ions are replaced by fe fe ions along fe2 plus ions then it give the and then it gives the structure of mineral olivine okay so its structure is similar to that of this uh, frost right then under example for um,
next another example for uh, the orthosilicate is garnets garnets it has a formula m3 2 m2 3 and sio4 three times what this is means that it has two types of metal first type of metal is a m with oxidation number 2 that how many metals will be present three metal will be presenting and the type of metal that how much how many number will be present only two number will be there that is m2 but this m2 has an oxidation number of three okay this m this first m that is a metal with uh, two oxidation state that metals can be either magnesium calcium and iron and this metal with oxidation number three may be iron chromium and aluminium that is iron 3 chromium 3 plus and aluminium 3 plus or it may be fe2 plus calcium 2 plus or magnesium 2 plus then for this metal with oxidation number 2 the coordination number is 6 okay that is they will be attaching to 6 different oxygen atom and with metal with oxidation number 3 they have the coordination number of 8 that is they are surrounded by 6 eh, sorry 8 oxygen atom this is the structure of this comp this is also a mineral mineral of some metal uh, normally magnesium ion or calcium chromium ion element like that it is a mineral here you can see this is the tetrahedra okay this is structure this is a tetrahedra and this white circle indicate one metal atom and the yellow circle indicate another metal atom okay and this uh, this shapes indicates the tetrahedral and octahedral sides there don't worry about that things just remember that what is an octahedral side what is a tetrahedral side how it is formed and where the metal will be placing just remember that only anyway garnet means they contain two met two types of metal atoms one metal atom with oxidation number two and another with metal atom oxidation number three and the coordination number is also different with metal atom with oxidation number two the coordination number is six and other for under one the coordination number is eight so this is up to orthosilicates okay so what is what is the peculiarity of orthosilicate is that they contain discrete sio4 4 minus tetrahedra several minerals are example for this type of silicates they are wilmenite phenacite then frosterite garnets etc okay so next we move on to the second type of silicate that is called pyrosilicates pyrosilicates the in pyrosilicate they contain disilicate anion that is here the two silicate join together to form a single unit However, what happens is that two silicates join together they are joined together these are formed by joining two tetrahedra by sharing the oxygen at one corner they are formed by the joining of two sio4 here two sio4 will join together by the sharing of one oxygen atom and so this is basic unit of pyrosilicate which on si2 o7 6 minus now we can count the number of oxygen and silicon atom two silicon atoms are here this one and this two okay dots two dark dots that is a silicon atom then we can count the number of oxygen atom one two three then here it is four then five six seven okay so there is a seven oxygen atom then count the charge of the anion one two here it is a three this is a four five and six okay so the disc the disilicate anion the basic unit is si2 o7 6 minus it is formed by joining two tetrahedra by sharing the oxygen at one corner I mean, for one tetrahedra they are formed by sharing two tetrahedra by sharing the oxygen at one corner then examples are throat vitite that is a scandium containing mineral and hemimorphite it is a zinc containing mineral it is a mineral of zinc so examples are throat vitite and also hemimorphite okay they are the minerals these are the examples for minerals now moving on to the third class that is called the chain silicates the chain silicates are of two types first one is single chain simple chain silicates and another one is double chain silicates first we can see what is meant by simple chain silicates simple chain silicates means these are formed by sorry 
these are formed by sharing of oxygen atoms on two corners of each tetrahedral with another tetrahedral this is one tetrahedra okay consider this tetrahedra this tetrahedra here the two oxygen atoms at the corners are shared by another tetrahedra but two oxygen atoms are used for sharing with neighboring tetrahedra resulting in the formation of a simple chain okay and this result in a polymeric anionic chain the chains in a so next term, where the metal will be this also the exam examples are minerals this is one chain and this is another chain here also a negative charge here also a negative charge the metal will be placed in between these two chains okay so the metal will be lying between these two chains and also this metal atom will be uh, or the this oxygen will be forming a coordinate bond with the metal and also maybe this oxygen will also be forming a coordinate bond with the metal so the metal will hold the two chains in place okay so the chains are held in their corresponding position by this metal atoms okay so here the metal atom will be presenting in between the two separate chains okay so in simple chain silicates it is formed by the sharing of two oxygen atom per tetrahedra with the neighboring tetrahedra and it results in a polymeric anionic chain and the chains are held together in their position by the metal atom then the examples for this type of silicates are pyroxenes spyroxenes different different types of pyroxenes are there first one is podumene then diopside n statite then jadeite etc there for the these are the minerals for different metals okay next you can see the um, basic unit in this simple chain silicates a basic unit is okay for basic unit you have first consider just this part you consider okay one silicon atom is there that is correct silicon is one then you have to count the number of oxygen atom for this silicon atom here you can see one oxygen then here it is a second oxygen okay then this oxygen atom consider this oxygen atom here the full uh, contribution of this oxygen atom getting this, sil this silicon atom no only just a contribute half of this oxygen atom will be getting to this silicon atom or this tetrahedra similarly for this oxygen also only half contribution will be obtaining by this tetrahedra that is we can calculate like this this two oxygen atom how much contribution this unit is getting only half contribution will be getting that is equal to for these two oxygen atom we can get a contribution of one this one plus here another oxygen atom is said this is not shared by any tetrahedra so you can add one here then another oxygen atom here that is also complete contribution you are getting so it is total three oxygen atom that is why SiO3 then how much charge here the one negative charge here here and the negative charge so it is two minus this repeats in n times we will get a polymeric chain okay ellarku okay. manasilayen vicharikunu nammal ee oru tetrahedra eduthala ee oru tetrahedra eduthala ee oru tetrahedra ile namaku we have to find out the basic unit allengi the basic repeating unit of this polymeric anionic chain kandupidikanam this you are considering this as a basic unit ee oru basic unit le how many silicon atom one silicon atom any confusion on the next you have to count the number of oxygen atom here on oxygen atom is there here on oxygen atom is there they are not shared by any tetrahedra so the complete contribution from then ox that oxygen atom is getting that is why i have added here one and one okay next consider this oxygen atom this oxygen atom here there is and that tetrahedra will be sharing there okay so for this oxygen atom only half of this oxygen atom will be obtaining for this tetrahedra remaining half goes for the next tetrahedra similarly for this oxygen atom also half will be contributing to this tetrahedra that half will be owned by this tetrahedra okay so we have to consider only this half and this half that is 2 into half contribution le rendu pere etra contributions therunu half annu parayna oru contributions therunu so 2 into half that is also 1 so total number of oxygen atom is 3 
also in simple chain silicates then uh, the basic unit is SiO3 2 minus that repeated n times giving a polymeric anionic chain the examples for simple chain silicates are pyroxenes next the second second uh, classification that is double chain silicates in double chain silicates this is a figure of double chain silicates here what happens is that two simple chains joined by shared oxygen atom we have already seen a simple chain right? last uh, well, in the last slide you have seen this is a simple chain this simple chains join together two simple chains join together to form a double chain silicates okay here the metal atoms joins adjacent double chain using the non bridging oxygen atoms this is a double chain this is the basic unit this is a double chain this is a basic unit then on a metal come here this metal will be connected to this oxygen this oxygen and also here also one double chain will be coming so the metal will be connecting to here and here so metal will be present in between the double chain and non bridging oxygen atom this oxygen is bridged but this oxygen is not bridged so with non bridged oxygen atom this metal is connecting okay next we can calculate the uh, basic unit then we discuss remaining thing for basic unit we have considered four silicon units we are considering together four silicon units mean we have to start from here so this one silicon second silicon third silicon this is a fourth silicon so we can cut here so this is a basic unit from here to here it is the basic unit this much part is the basic unit first we can calculate the number of silicon atom one two three and four okay silicon is four next we have to count the number of oxygen atom here once where you can see that consider uh, this oxygen atom this oxygen atom it is shared by two tetrahedra isn't it okay this oxygen atom is shared by two tetrahedra then you consider uh, not that way uh, when on you consider this silica uh, this tetrahedra here um, for this okay for this particular tetrahedra consider this particular tetrahedra here from this tetrahedra two oxygen atom get shared with the adjacent one like e oxygen atom e oxygen atom shared by the adjacent tetrahedra for this tetrahedra how many oxygen is shared with the adjacent one one two and three three oxygen atom is shared by the adjacent tetrahedra so here there is a difference so for some tetrahedral units only two oxygen atom are used for sharing and for some other tetrahedral units how many oxygen atom is used for sharing three oxygen atom is used for sharing so far you didn't see like that we have to understand the structures we have to understand the tetrahedral if two one oxygen and share an angle, all the one oxygen is share. Two oxygen and angle, all the tetrahedra will be sharing two oxygen atom. Here, the difference is that some of the tetrahedra will be sharing two oxygen atoms with the neighboring one, and some others will be sharing three oxygen atoms with the neighboring ones. So, there will be a difference in calculating the number of oxygen atoms. Okay. So, from here to here we are considering silicon is okay now you have to consider the number of oxygen atom okay consider this tetrahedra this is a first tetrahedra here you can see how uh, altogether don't consider this inside oxygen we can count later just count the oxygen atom in the corner here you can see three oxygen atoms is shared by the tetrahedra that is three oxygen atoms consider this one tetrahedra this tetrahedra i mark this as one here the three oxygen atoms are shared by the adjacent here also one sio for tetrahedra will be coming that is this oxygen is shared this oxygen is shared and this oxygen is also shared that is three ox from the three oxygen atoms how much contribution this unit is getting only half contribution will be getting i think you are uh, understanding me 
we are going to calculate the number of oxygen atom present in this SiO4 up to this from here to here how many oxygen atom is present or we are calculating how many oxygen atom presenting in each repeating unit here you can see here is one tetrahedra here the three oxygen atoms are shared by the adjacent tetrahedra that is from the three oxygen from these three oxygen atoms only half contribution is getting to the silicon getting to this tetrahedral unit out of the three oxygen atom we are not giving the complete contribution we are giving only half contribution so i wrote it as three into one by two okay next i can consider this tetrahedra okay this tetrahedra only two oxygen atom are used for sharing this one is not used for any sharing so it remain like that so two oxygen atoms gave how much contribution half contribution okay this oxygen atom and this oxygen atom this unit will be getting only half the contribution from that oxygen atom now again consider this tetrahedra third tetrahedra here also how many oxygen used for sharing three oxygen used for sharing sharing so i can write three into one by two okay this three from these three oxygen atom only half is getting next coming to the fourth tetrahedra here only two are used for sharing this one is a non-bonding so don't calculate that so it is again two into one by two so this three by two plus this become one this become again three by two plus one okay three by two plus three by two three and it is six by two six by two means it is three right? that is three plus two five okay three by two three by two six by two six by two normal it is three three plus two is equal to five any bonding on the auction is very naughty that is we didn't consider the non-bonding oxygen atom non-bonding oxygen atom is an elephant is central like an auction is non-bonding so one two three four and then I'm not going to the central kind of auction atom count here so it becomes five plus four okay one two three four central or the non-bonding and the full contribution are you need to get to know that Pin additionally and on the one and two either and a non-bonding LA is a item item connected the less so additionally two more so five plus two sorry five plus four nine nine plus two eleven that here comes si4 11 six minus n times okay hope you understand this we are calculating the sio4 sio4 11 six minus silicon we are not no confusion one two three four oxygen for this case for this particular tetrahedra three oxygens are used for sharing so we are taking the contribution three into one by two for this one we are taking two into one by two here again three into one by two here only two in one by two okay like that we are getting si4 o11 in at the six minus here is one charge one then here it's two then here it is 3, here it is 4, this is 5, this is 6, so 6 minus. So here the basic unit is SA4, O11, 6 minus. Okay. The minerals, uh, the examples for uh, uh, this type of uh, double chain silicates are, they are called ambiboles. Ambiboles are calcium uh, minerals and also sodium minerals. Here also two types of metals are present. And here also, you can see the metal is present. Here the metal will be coming here. And here also under cyclic silicate will be there so it will be bonding from here from here from here so in between the double chain silicates metal will be present otherwise here it will be coming so bonded here bonded here here also under double chain silicates is there it will be bonding with this one okay this way metal will be connecting there okay so this is about the chain silicates chain silicates are of two types one is simple chain silicates and another one is double chain silicates okay next we can move on to the next classification that is called cyclic silicates in cyclic silicates what happens is that formed by the sharing of two oxygen atom per sio4 tetrahedra resulting in a cyclic structure okay name itself indicates that here a cyclic structure will be formed 
द सैकल कैन बी फो बै ए बै जॉयि थ्री ओ थ्री टेट्रा हेड्रल यूनिट्स ओर बै जॉयि सिक्स टेट्रा हेड्रल यूनिट्स ओके यू कैन सी वन टेट्रा हेड्रा इट इस जॉय बै अंडर टेट्रा हेड्रा सो थ्री टेट्रा हेड्रल यूनिट्स विल बी जॉयि यू कैन कौं द नंबर ऑफ ऑक्शन ऐटम जस्ट कौंड इट एस थ्री वन टू थ्री ऑक्शन ऐटम विल बी हॉम एज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नयन ओके टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑक्शन ऐटम कौंटा मे सो यू विल गेट एस थ्री ओ नयन सिक्स माइनस ओके That also you just count it. You will get. Okay. It occurs in the mineral wall wallstoneite. That is a calcium containing mineral, and also benitoite. That is barium containing uh, mineral. Then under cyclic silicate formed is Si six O eleven. That is six tetrahedral units joined together to form a cyclic structure. This occurs in the complex barite. Okay. So next classification is the sheet silicates. Okay, in sheet silicates, here the three oxygen atom per tetrahedra got shared. Three oxygen atom get shared, and you will get a three oxygen atom per tetrahedra. Now if they can the chain silicates, na nangil chala tetrahedra ila two oxygen atom share do, chala dilla three oxygen atom share do. Yebre three oxygen each tetrahedra will using three oxygen atoms for sharing. So the resulting you will get a two D infinite structure. You will be getting the example is a talc that is it's a magnesium mineral and kaolinite. Kaolinite is an aluminium containing mineral. Okay, then here also you can calculate the, the basic unit for Si two that is two silica unit you are considering one silica one silica two. Then here. One, two, three. This three oxygen atom is used for sharing. So it is three into one by two plus. Here also three oxygen atom is used for sharing. Here it was three into one by two. So it becomes six into one, six by two. Alright, six by two. That is equal to three. Three then four five. So it becomes Si two O five. Then two minus charge. Over and then I am get the oxygen and then I am you are getting the two minus charge. Okay, this is about the chain silicate. Uh, sorry, sheet silicate. Sheet silicates mean infinite 2D structure you are getting. Then come the three-dimensional silicates. Three-dimensional silicates mean the four oxygen atoms of SiO4 are shared. Then you will get a three-dimensional structure. And examples are quartz, tridimite, then crystal bellite. These are the examples for this three-dimensional silicates. So these are the classification of silicates. So Up to now, you have seen what are silicates, uh, what are the materials, and which are the materials that contain the silicate ions, and different classification of silicates, and examples for different types of silicates. Okay, thank you.